are you doing out there in the dark? Come sit by the fire. Tonight, we're doing one of my very favorite Pioneer Scout pastimes, Campfire Tales. This on? Oh, oh, good. I'm sure glad the speakers are still working. Hello, campers. Ready for a frightful tale? Remember, these tales are interactive, so put on your brave face and act out the story when prompted. Today's tale is called Terrors of the Dark. Hmm. Seems the holotape has some errors. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um... Hello? This story is about me, a pioneer scout. I wake up one night in a cabin, and I see that I'm alone. Everyone's beds are empty. My heart is pounding, but I know I have to go outside and look for everybody. I want to get up, but the shadows are reaching for me. They're, they're gonna attack me. Please help me fend them off. Oh, my God. 
All right, now, gather around. There was a holocaust amongst the missing campers below. Let's give a listen and see what we can find. That's it. I'm going on an expedition. I have to hunt down whatever's been tormenting the kids for the past few months. Oh, poor Layla. I... At first, I didn't believe her. About the darkness, the shadows, the monsters. Even though I started seeing irregularities in the stars. And now that Ronnie's gone missing, I, I, I can't turn a blind eye. I have a theory about what's out there, and, and I'm gonna follow the night sky to my answer. It's far, and I've never been on an expedition alone. But, but I have to try. I'll find the cause of all this weirdness. For Layla. For Ronnie. the Pioneer Scout motto. Say it with me. Ever upwards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good. And don't forget the body system. Little Layla really fried my circuits running off like she did. Just look at those stars. Oh, how precious. Did you bring any marshmallows? Little Susie always loved roasted marshmallows. Thank you. 